Welcome back. We're going to continue on with our basic geometric shaped robot collage. Here's my example and here is what we were working on when we stopped. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the other parts of him or her. The buttons, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And remember these are our basic shapes and these are pretty much all geometric shapes. We're going to use your other two pieces of paper now um, and cut out the basic, some basic shapes to go on our robot. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. And um, we're going to start with some basic shapes. If you notice in this one, we've got um, his face done, we've got hands, feet, some buttons, a belt with a little buckle on it. Um, and then we've got a line in the background for um, showing where the ground is and where the sky is. So what we're going to do, everyone's going to be doing something a little bit different and that's what we want. But we're going to be kind of having those basic parts of our robot. So I'm going to start with his head. I'm going to start with some eyeballs. Okay, And I'm going to take a little piece of blue paper and I'm going to make two eyeballs. I'm going to make little rectangular eyeballs. So I'm going to cut two little rectangles like that. They're not exactly the same, but that's okay. They'll be pretty close. And I'm thinking I want them a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to cut them a little bit smaller. Remember, always cut away from yourself. Is that better? That's better. There we go. So you're going to have to experiment with what size you want. So sometimes you might have to make them bigger or smaller. There's my two eyes, and I'm not going to glue them down just yet. I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to make a nose. I'm going to take a little, one of my little leftover rectangles here. And I'm going to cut it into a triangle by just snipping off these sides. And notice all these little scraps I have over here sitting on my table. I'm going to kind of save these because you never know when those might come in handy. Here's a little triangle nose and then I'm gonna make a mouth shape um, and for his mouth I'm gonna cut out a kind of rectangle here notice again how I'm cutting out of the side of the paper and I'm gonna kind of make um, a V shape and then I'm gonna trim those edges off so we kinda have like a V shape that's like almost like a smile and that's like way too big so I'm gonna have to trim it down Is that better good there we go as long as I move his nose up a bit alright so there's our little face now I'm still not gonna glue it down I'm gonna get some red and I'm gonna get some little eyeballs here I'm going to make some little teeny eyeballs. Okay. Now, your face does not have to be as complicated as mine or as small as mine. I'm just making an example. Your face is going to be however you think your face should be. And right now you're working on your face and I want you to finish your face. And when you're done, um, give me a big thumbs up so that I know you're ready. Okay. Now I'm going to glue my face down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm just going to kind of slide them all off and I'm going to start gluing them down. I'm going to take my glue bottle and I'm going to do one little bunny hop on this eye and flip it over. One little bunny hop on this eye. Now this is how we do a collage. You lay it all out first see that you like it and then you move on by gluing it down okay and every collage is different and everybody's artwork is different because we're all different people and that's what makes our artwork unique and nice okay nobody's is gonna look like mine because you're all creating something new and unique okay so here's my collage face 
And here's the little eyes. And if your hands get a little bit sticky, you can just tell me and I'll get you a little paper towel because it's hard to put down little shapes of, of um, collage if your sting fingers are sticky. Good, now I'm gonna get some hands and feet. All right, for my hands and feet, I'm gonna cut out little triangle shapes. There's one triangle. Here's another triangle. And if you have trouble cutting out triangles, you can cut out a square like that. And then you can try your best to cut a diagonal line from corner to corner. And you can get two other triangles, just like that. Okay, so there's four triangles that I'm gonna glue down for his hands and feet. Here's one foot. And I'm gonna put this foot right here. Okay just like that. So I'm going to flip it over, put some glue on the back, flip it back over, and set it down. Notice how I'm overlapping my yellow leg there. This little triangle I'm going to put on this foot and I want it to be like that so it's pointing down, right? So I'm going to take this, put a, two little glue dribb dribbles on there, two little bunny hops, flip it over and lay it on top. Okay, The hands, same thing. I want this hand to be kind of coming out that way. So I'm going to flip it over, put a glue bunny hop on the back, flip it back over. And this one I want pointing down like that. So I'm going to flip it over glue on the back, flip it back over, and put it on. Good. When you're done with your feet and your hands, let me know. Good. Now we're going to start the body part. This um, I give you again full free reign with your artistic choice to make whatever kind of buttons you want and put them kind of wherever you want. You know, maybe he's got a heart button, maybe he's got a belly button, <laughs> maybe he's got something else, um, some other kind of buttons on him that control different things. So use your imaginations. Maybe he's a, you know, a robot cook or maybe he flies in outer space and he can do all sorts of fun things. So you could have like a little button over here and a button down right in the middle of his shirt. All right, and maybe he's got some other buttons maybe a couple red buttons that you can put on there and you can use the other colors whichever colors you haven't used yet to make some of your buttons and I'm just gonna kind of make make those little buttons here and I'm actually gonna make some overlapping pieces for this button right here A little overlapping piece for that button. So I'm overlapping some things. Okay. And then I'm going to glue those down. So one little glue dribble on your button. One little bunny hop. Push down and squeeze. Flip it over. I'm going to put the red one on now, one little bunny hop on there, and flip it over. One little bunny hop on this glue, or on this button, flip it over. And another little bunny hop here, flip it over. And another little bunny hop here. Flip it over. Good, so I've got some buttons on him now. And 
I'm going to put a belt on him. So I'm going to cut out a long strip of paper. I'm going to kind of put it down like that to measure it. And then I'm going to slide my scissors underneath and trim it. And I'm going to bunny hop a couple little pieces of glue and flip over his belt. Then I'm going to put a buckle on. Here's a blue buckle that I have left over. I'm going to bunny hop a piece of glue there and flip it over so he has a buckle on his belt now. Good. Our last piece that we're going to do is the line between the sky and the ground right here. Okay, and I'm going to use blue because I haven't used a lot of blue yet. And I'm just going to take one long strip off the side here. And I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to cut it first. I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to slide my scissors underneath and trim it. Put a few bunny hops and flip it over. And then we want to pretend like this is overlapped underneath, right? So we're going to take our other one and we're going to kind of pretend it comes right over there and we're going to glue it on this side. Okay, so I'm going to put some bunny hops here and flip it over like that and then trim the extra that's off the edge here. Okay, so that is our finished robot collage. Now, just as a review for our robot collage, we learned the word collage, which is when you take many little pieces of paper and glue them together to make a different picture like our robot. We learned and reviewed the primary colors, which were red, yellow, and blue. We reviewed and learned about our basic shapes and our geometric shapes, triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, those kind of shapes, and other bigger shapes like um, the trapezoid, the hexagon, and the pentagon. And then lastly, but not leastly, we learned about overlapping, where one thing is in front of another thing. Okay, so those were our art words for today's lesson and we made ourselves a robot collage.